Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, and welcome back. Uh, today, the past several days have been very frustrating for me. Uh, I've been applying for a lot of jobs recently, and I'm sorry to hear train of background. But anyway, I've been applying for a lot of jobs lately, but it's just really frustrating applying for jobs. It really is. Like, here's the thing. I do... Uh, ride sharing service. So I'm one of in one of those apps. Oh, screw it, I'm, I'm doing Uber. So, but anyway, in my town, it's not that stable. And if I have to go to a bigger town where I don't know the location that well, I'm gonna get lost super easily. And I tried, I think, like four times and only had one good experience out of those four times. So I don't feel that great doing a bigger city, especially since I don't know it. So, in my town, there's not a lot of people. So, it's pretty busy when the colleges are here, but when it's, there's no colleges or, and stuff, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. And YouTube's great, but, you know, I'm honestly not making money on YouTube right now, obviously. Because, um, hello, I don't have, <laughs> I have five subscribers. Which is, you know, I'm thankful for even five. So, but anyway... I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for actual work because I know I like it's hard to explain I like to have something more stable it's something that I will able to actually do so until if it if this ever takes off then that's awesome if not it, you know I have backups because I'm like I was the type of person I'll apply for like one job and then I'll get an interview and then I'll just put all my eggs in that one basket and wait for that job to happen. And then I, a, a week will go by. I'll call, ask for an update, and all that type of stuff. But no, nothing happens. So um, I did. I wouldn't hear anything. They'll say, "Oh, we're still considering." Blah blah blah. Uh, another week goes by. I'll call back again and. Someone else had more experience, so they also got the job, which I, of course, understand. But I'm just like, how on earth am I supposed to have a job and collect experience if nothing's happening? Like, that's what frustrates me the most. To me, what makes sense to me, like, if I'm hiring someone and let's say I'm doing... Let's see, what what's a good example, like, okay, like uh, a receptionist, okay, and they have software that they use to help schedule in people. To me, I want someone that I want to train myself to use the program, right? And I want it done my way. So if I bring in someone that already knows the software but does it their own way that's not in compliance of what I do, to me that's more frustrating than bringing in someone that's been in like a week or two to learn that new software and then they they get it done how I want it done. So, cause like, let's say there was another receptionist or something that's been doing it for like 10 years. It has, they're just seven the ways about it. They don't change it. It's going to take them a lot longer, probably, maybe, who knows, to adapt to this new software. Or to do it the way they want it done. To me, it makes more sense to bring in someone new or something like that and teach them how to use it. And that's the other thing, like, honestly, there's going to be some training process regardless on who you bring in. And it's just kind of frustrating to, you know. So, you didn't quite meet our qualifications. We want someone with more experience. I was like, okay, well, how am I supposed to get experience if I can't get a job? It doesn't make any sense, does it? So, that's why I started doing YouTube for fun and doing all this other stuff just for fun. Because, like, I need to vent. <laughs> I mean, you know, people got a vent, and it's just very, 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 very rough. And, like, the job market, they say, is, like, super awesome right now. Like, you should apply. I've had three interviews. No. I had one person tell me I have a job, 
asked if I could come for training and I said no that's one under my prior commitment because I said that in the interview said I have a prior commitment on a let's say a Thursday okay so I can't do Thursday at all because my mom has surgery so I was her ride and she couldn't find anyone else because you know I had this interview on I think I had it on Monday <laughs> or something and um so I said I can do any other week, no problem, and we hit the Christmas season and all that stuff, and then I tried calling a couple of times, and I um, got her the first time, and I said, like, okay, my mom had her surgery, she's all good, and when would be the next time, because apparently for orientation, the, the, the person comes in like every Thursday of the month or something, or of the week for orientation, so... Um, I just want to let, I just let her know, it's like the surgery's over, she's fine, I have nothing else coming up, so if you want to do that, that's, you know, I'm willing to do it, I'm still very interested in this job, I still really want this job, you know, and all that type of stuff. And it's been like two weeks now, um, and no one's called or anything, and she literally said you have the job, which is frustrating to me, but... That's just what happens. Uh, the second job I applied for was sales for a company. I don't, I mean, I had the phone interview, that went okay. I thought I did horrible actually, and they called me back like 20 minutes later because they uh, told me over the phone when I was doing the interview that they already hired someone. They don't want to keep the options open for something else. So I get a call like an hour later, or 20 minutes or whenever. It was later on that day, and they asked me to go to a neighboring city, which is like 50, about 10 miles outside where I usually drive. And I said, that's a long drive, but I'm willing to, to do it. No problem. And so I go there, uh, and I thought it was like an hour interview. I thought it went pretty good. I found out literally the next day I didn't get it. I was like, okay, that's fine. And then I went to another um, interview with um, a TIB agency. And the lady was like, I have to do this interview thing. I was like, um, okay. And so we went through stuff. I was being as polite as could be and everything. And I, the point is, I, you know, she said, I will let you know if anything pops up. It's one that's like general interviews. Like um, you interview with the TIB agency. You give your information, all the stuff in your application, all the skills you know, and all that type of jazz, and they try to match you up as best they can. Um, call today, um, they were kind of, anyway, the, it, it is what it is. <laughs> I've applied for, like, I think, like, some more jobs, having her back, and I try calling a couple places, but it's like, well, when the... If if the application matches up with what we're looking for, the home office will call you or something. I was like, I was like, I just want to talk to the manager, not associate. Okay, I mean, you know, try to schedule something. Like, it's so bizarre. Everything is just so bizarre. So that's why I, I would love to have something like on YouTube. That way I could do something like almost every day and post stuff and just talk about random things and. My experience is it's just really rough and like I got so, I, I guess I got a little depressed yesterday but after about like 10, about a couple of minutes of like just like and not hearing things and trying to you know work through stuff, I was like I just focused on something else. I literally reorganized my um, kitchen cabinets for like two hours. I just wanted to do something productive and that's how I always been like I, I just want to do something productive so that's what I did and then I uh, also baked for two hours after that so I found what I was looking for and I uh, reorganized everything in like the bottom drawers and got stuff done and you know it is what it is I might show you what I did uh, I think I got pictures of it I'll show pictures probably now <laughs> if my editing software is working. If it's not, sorry. But anyway, the, I just I just wanted to talk and kind of vent a little, so yeah.
So anyway, that's what I'm going to do for this video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree. Just tell me your thoughts down below. Um, have you had similar experiences when someone said that you have a job, but you can't come into orientation and you had to go like the next week and you know it just fell apart or you felt really great about an interview and it just didn't happen or you know just tell me your other thoughts down below tell me your experiences i love hearing different you know varying things and don't forget to subscribe and that's it i'll see you on my next video bye